today let me show you how to perfectly center a shape onto your canvas. Let's make the demonstration worthwhile. Maybe you have created a business and want to create business cards. The standard US business card size is 3.5 by 2 inches. You may think that you can go ahead and create a canvas with those dimensions, but I'll stop you right there. Before you do so, and if you are planning to have your business cards professionally printed, you will need to add what is called a bleed. Usually it is a quarter of an inch wide. So for you to have a bleed area on your business card, you will need to increase the size of your canvas. This means that rather to create a 3.5 by 2 inches canvas, you will need to create a canvas that is 3.75 by 2.25 inches. So let's do that. Create a new file. Change the measurement units from pixels to inches. In the two first input boxes, type your measurements. Set the resolution at 300 ppi. Now it is totally optional, you can change this mode from RGB to a CMYK. I'm going to leave mine to RGB. Hit create. Create a vector layer and name it Bleed. Usually at this time I would say to lock your background, but this time I would like you to leave it unlocked. Grab the rectangle tool. In the Tool Options Docker, click on the Fill drop-down menu and choose Not Filled. In the Outline drop-down menu, choose Brush. Change the size of your brush by using the slider, or also you can type a number directly inside the input box. I am going to type 5 pixels. Click Enter. Create a small rectangle on the canvas, any size will do. Hit the Select Shapes tools. Click on your shape to activate it. In the Tool Options Docker, we have three tabs, the Geometry tab, the Stroke tab, and the Fill tab. We are going to work in the very first one, the Geometry tab. If you look closely at this area, the units of measures are in pixels and there is no button that could help us switch between units. But no worries, there is a trick, let me show you. In the very top input box, I want you to type 3.5 followed by the two letter IN, IN meaning inches. So because I wrote IN, I have now two IN. So delete one of them and you have your first box. You're gonna do the same with the second box. Type two IN. Delete your IN and then you have created your box that is 3.5 by 2 inches. Time to center the shape. Here again and to my knowledge, there are no tools or buttons that can help us center the shape onto the canvas. We are going to have to do it ourselves. So click on the background layer to activate it and hit the Transform tool. The Transform tool is very useful because it will always show you the center point of the area selected. Since we selected the entire background, we have now the center point of the entire canvas. Go to View, 
We are going to select the show rulers, but before to do that, I want you to look at the show guides. As you can see right now, the option is not selected. You will see later why I mentioned that. So let's uh, select the show rulers. Two rulers have now appeared around the canvas, so one on the top and one on the side. As a quick reminder, if you right click on any of the uh, rulers, you can change uh, the units. Uh, right now it's in pixels, I am going to change the units uh, to inches. Our next step is to set the guides. Left click anywhere on the top ruler and with your left mouse button, drag the first guide toward the center point of the transform tool. Do the same on the other side. Click on the side ruler and drag your guide. Now if we go back to the view, you will see that the show guides option automatically activated. It's because we have created them. So let's lock the guides. Alright, so let's move our shape. I'm going to zoom out like that we can see better. Click on the uh, vector layer to activate it and click on the Select Shapes tool to activate the shape. Now, as you can see, the center of our vector shape is shown as a red square. The only thing left to do is to align the red square to the center point we created with the guides. And voila, you have a centered U shape. Now, to make sure that the shape stays where it is, you can lock the layer and you can also lock the background. Right now, if you wanted to show or hide the guides, you would have to go to View and check Show Guides to hide the guides. And then if later on you needed the guides, you would go back to View and select Show Guides again. You can create a shortcut. Go to Settings. Click Configure Krita. Select the Keyboard Shortcut tab. In the search bar, type Guides. Now we have the option Show Guides, so click on this little arrow right here. We are going to change uh, this uh, and give it a shortcut. Right now there is none. So click on the input box to activate it. And when you see the input word, click the letter H. Now, as you can see, the letter H is already been uh, used as a shortcut. But in this case, it is assigned to show the color history. I never use show color history, so I'm going to reassign it and uh, click OK. And you have created a shortcut. So now to view or unview your uh, guides, you only have to click on the letter H on your keyboard. That is much faster. All right, we are done for today. I hope this was uh, very helpful. I will uh, see you next time. So have a wonderful week. Au revoir et à bientôt.